go to volume 6, book 61, and read Hadith number 509 and 510. So 661, 509, 510, it shows you that Uthman uh, was willing to collect all the early Quranic manuscripts. He said, make one version of the Quran and then burn all the evidence. Same book of Sahih Bukhari, volume 6, book 61, says uh, Ubay ibn Qab recites portions of the Quran that none of the rest of us recite. And when asked not to, he says he will not leave it for anything whatsoever because he heard it from the mouth of Muhammad. Surprising. Abdullah ibn Masud, he's the first one Muhammad mentioned. You look at the records of what Abdullah ibn Masud had in his Quran, he had 111 chapters of the Quran. Well, what does today's Quran have? 114. There's three chapters in today's Quran that were not included in the number one teacher Muhammad picked. And I started saying, well, the Quran must be the word of God. And I went to all the apologetic reasons that I'd been given from childhood as to why the Quran is the word of God. I'd been told the Quran had never changed. I'd been told that the Quran had miracles inside it, miraculous scientific knowledge. I'd been told that the Quran had uh, prophecies of the future. And as I began to investigate each and every single one of these claims, again, with the same critical eye that I used on Christianity, it began to crumble.